Hello my friends and welcome back to a continued blind let's play by the default where the Perry Flies HD offline mod for the PC. My name is the Flies Bird, this is Swordbeats Gaming Channel and today, well today we just finished the side quest for Merchant and Thief, which means we gotta continue on with the main story, so let's go. Hope you're all having a wonderful, amazing day today. So we begin with during these special parts, a little, uh, a little party conversation due to opening up the city. There are places in the Rende that trade in special move parts. Oh, right, I've heard of those. You can use those parts to customize your special moves. And what's more, the parts aren't consumed in the process, so you can keep reusing them. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started right now. It seems that there are rare attacks even among special moves. Oh really? Well that's news to me. What sort of thing do you mean, Tiz? I mean, staff and rod attacks. Uh, they take different parts than all the others, so be sure to try them out. Alright, well let's uh, head to our town. And let us... Uh... Oh right, we still have a couple minutes. Got two minutes here. So no reason to head to the town just yet. Although we do have an update here. Update our street pass data. We still need to heal the undead, but we have to go to Caldessa at night, which is not something that we have done. Uh, if we look at our party, we have Ring of Bell as a merchant. We have a thief, a monk, and a knight. Uh, not the best equipment overall. I wonder if we can get some better equipment from the weapons shop. Uh, we can get a cookery which does not improve our attack for idea we can't get a spear Man, better weapons and armor are kind of hard to get in this game hmm. okay so we can't continue our side quest for now so i think what we need to do is we need to leave the city And then head on south over the desert. Is this where the wind crystal is being held? But first, we gotta warm up. All right. Hard scale. That thief move really is cool. A deal with a job level. We learn the speed 10% up support ability. So extra speed is really good. But I think she already. She's using HP 10% up. You know, I'm actually gonna get this speed 10% up. I know that lowers the HP, but her going first to steal items is more valuable to me than the alternative. Okay, so our town should mostly be done at this point. Uh, there we go. I think I'm gonna put more here. Uh, let's wait 22 minutes. Sure, why not? That's the same as that one. Weirdly enough, I did not plan that. Uh, that's 13 seconds away. Three, two, one. And... Almost 22 minutes. Almost 22 minutes. Fair enough. Let's say before going in here. The Temple of Wind. So this is where I thought we would get asterisks from, Do but feel bad? maybe not. Monsters. 
monsters roaming here and quite a few because we got the asterisks from some of the side jobs so i wonder if we get all the asterisks from the side jobs or if there's optional jobs you get from the side jobs and then you get other jobs from the crystals i mean there's only one way to find out and that's keep playing but it's, it's one of those things why i just found very interesting inside the temple how what happened to this place on yes the crystal of wind was swallowed up in darkness. Darkness? Yes, at the chasm in Caldisla. It opened at the same time the crystal lost its light. And the dark that consumed it continues to breed more darkness still. I expect that font of shadows is to blame for drawing these creatures here. Not good. Yet we've no choice. Keep vigilant as we proceed. A moment's distraction could prove fatal. Our chat. Vessel and acolytes. What was daily life here like for you, Anias? Life in the temple? The acolytes now offered our prayers to the crystal every day without fail. Oof, no days off. The sole purpose for the vessel and acolytes exists is to see those prayers go on unbroken. I see. Each day we would awaken with the sun and perform morning prayers. Ack, I couldn't drag myself out of bed that early. Lash, it's about bedtime for me. Sure, because you're up for landing all night. <laughs> so if you wake up at dawn, uh, when do you go to sleep? Our days end it with the sun setting. That all sounds very disciplined, harsh even. Perhaps, but I cherished it. Even now, I long to return to that life dearly. Now, okay, this is a minor gripe that I have, but... Why is it that we don't know the layout of the temple? I mean, I, I understand. You, you're, you're doing an RPG. Uh, you don't know a new area, so obviously the area is shrouded in, you know, fog of war, basically. But Anya has lived here. If Ani has lived here, you'd think we would know what the map layout looks like. But anyway, that, that's neither here nor there. Uh, what is this wind charm? Suppresses wind. Probably not a bad idea, considering we're in the wind area. Okay, there's another chest on the other side of this. But I can't get to the other side of this. It looks like I gotta go around. Enemy went first. Well, that's kind of annoying. It wouldn't be annoying if they didn't put to sleep, but because they put to sleep, it was kind of annoying. She does no damage whatsoever. Oh, the protect ally support ability uh, level 5 knight wow I didn't know that she was that high yet okay well we know where the other treasure chest is so it's more important that we look for paths okay, so there's a door there but I can't go through a door maybe I should just try to you know, stop more often I keep forgetting that Ring of Bell is not a black mage anymore. Nice steals. Okay, that wasn't bad. Okay, that that that's bad. We're just chilling here, waiting for him to wake up. Getting pretty good experience and job points here. Are we sure we can open this door? Yes, we cannot open this door. I have pressed the button many, many times. What's all this on the floor? The crystallist scriptures. 
Oh. What sort of things do they say? Dauntless Seeker, offer your prayers unto the crystals. So too shall the Vestal, in accordance with the teachings. Their resplendent light shall cleave a path through darkest night and banish fear from every shadow. The scriptures have been passed down through more than two millennia since the founding of the Orthodoxy. The excerpt I gave is among their most important passages. I've heard it from one of the old shepherds when I was young. It's that famous then? I've never read them, nor heard them quoted. It looks as if someone tried to carry them away from here. The Acolytes. They were women of exceptional faith. I expect they came here desperate to protect these writings. This stain upon the floor. I'm afraid it's blood. Hmm. <sighs> Horrifying. See our homeland just ravaged. You can see this is where she probably like worked. I don't know if they have a sleeping quarters, but Should probably uh, go back to my dual screen here. And I should probably not go up and down the stairs. Uh, let's see, treasure over there. There's three in this area. really big. That guy is really big. Stomp does seem to do more damage than the basic attack, obviously. Desert Rose. I really like the Thief Glass. I mean, I always like getting more items, even though I'm kind of an item horde. But still, Tis gained a level. And month level six. Hidden Dragon. Mega Bell gained a level. Uh, Learn the White Knight support ability. So our job levels are getting pretty high up there. I, I didn't even realize that. Uh, but yeah, if I look at. If I look at Tiz and we look at Hidden Dragon. Uh, attack at the end of the turn, but deal 1.25 times the damage of a conventional attack to one damn target. That is really good for like boss fights. Yeah, I know you attack at the end of the turn, but to deal extra damage is phenomenal. Uh, what about Mingabel? He got a ability here, White Knight. The ally with the most HP protects you when you suffer a single target physical attack while HP is below 20%. Um, hmm. Make an enemy buy a recovery item from you at 2.5 times the selling price. So you can use that to probably get more money. Start at the beginning of your turn to raise your physical defense to maximum level for the entire turn. Okay. I wonder if I should just double hand her. I think I should. Because she just does so little damage. But how do I double hand? Do I just unequip a shield? No, it's gotta be, you gotta put it on here. Only plus six. Only plus six. I mean, that does add up. It's just, it's just not, not what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more. I was expecting a lot more from her damage than plus six. All right. Hmm. 
remedy obtained. Yeah, it looks like we can see all the chests. There's no hidden ones anywhere. High potion. It's just a matter of getting to them all. I do like how the game remembers your like last command. That's very helpful. See, she does some damage. I mean, that 160 is not Tiz level. Still not bad. Okay, uh, let's see. Come down this way. Turbo Ether. That's only a uh, higher end item in Final Fantasy games, so. I do want to explore even the unexplored areas. Probably because there may be some more story beats with uh, Agnes. Can I kill four guys in one turn? I think so. I think so. I might be close. Okay, she, she did zero damage to that first character, unfortunately. So we would have got unscathed if it was for that. I think we can kill it. Oh, we can't kill it. Oh, disappointing. Like I said, Anius just doesn't do enough damage. I know she's a knight, but as a knight, the stop ability just doesn't do enough. I don't think we need to continue on. Idea with the level? Should I heal? I think so. I mean, we just went through a dungeon where I had to constantly use magic for status effects. We don't have the air, so we should have no problem curing ourselves. <laughs> All right. Take them out, guys. This is really nice. We're getting a lot of potions here. And the job points aren't bad. I need to go back to fill in that black area. Sorry, it's just... I, I need to make sure... All my maps are filled. It's it's just something that I have to do. It's good to know that Tiz has his uh, limit breakup. I have no idea how to get ring of bells though. And unfortunately using items as weapons does not count towards using items. Which is sad. It would be really nice if it did. Although I do wonder, does she need to be the one to use items? Like, can any character use an item or does it have to be the thief? Because I really feel like we did not get 10 items and yet she had her special. Okay, we're on the other side here. I like this steel rate as well. It seems to be like 100%, which is phenomenal. I, I, I really go crazy over games where the steel rate is like abysmally low and you have to try so many times to steal an item. It's just vexing. This is terrible. 
It's like a storm swept through in the middle of supper. What are these scraps of cloth? Habits. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. They belong to the acolytes who lived here. They were tasked with looking after me. I owe them all so much. Where have they gone? Where indeed? Where indeed? Oh, uh, sir, there's no way to get over there. Oh, there's another stairway going down that way. Okay, we got to loop around. That's fine. No worries. I think we got a pretty good party set up at the moment. Wow, 300. And she didn't go first. Always annoying when she doesn't go first. Okay, we have three chests here. There's gotta be a hidden chest here, right? Oh my god. All right, well that guy, uh, that guy means business. Not too bad though. I need us with the level. Almost got a, another thief level, which is cool. Speaking of our thief, let's use her to cure everyone. Okay, that took way more magic than I was hoping, but it's fine. It's fine. I love these little story beats that we're getting with Anyas in here. It's kind of cool to know that this wasn't just a place. This was where she lived. It's just, this is brawling as a mic. Uh, Ring Bell gained a level, and it did gain that job level. I learned Light Thief. I wonder if that allows me to steal HP. Let's check it out. So, Thievery, Life Thief. Deal the same damage as a conventional attack to one target. Also, 75% chance to restore your own HP by the mountain damage dealt. Wow, that is really strong. Because it deals the same damage as normal, but it allows you to heal three-fourths of the time. That is... Some really good stuff. Is there a way to get into that room? Okay, there's nothing there. Like I said, I'm on the watch for, uh, for hidden passages. There has to be one in here, right? We just think there would be. We're gonna have so many desert roses by the end time we're done with this place. Wow, fire, oh my gosh. This is just insane. I wonder what the max level is on jobs. Someone over there. It's not a quest. So we should probably, uh. That's where the bubble's leading us.
Definitely continue on. So the big problem here is that they put us to sleep. Okay, good. That's weird. Protect seemed to not do any good for that guy. I, I did the same amount of damage to the other one that I did to him. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, there's one chest missing somewhere. You lack the qualifications. You startled me for nothing. Go on and shoo. Huh? Why would... What qualifications do I need? I'm, um... I I'm, uh, I'm a little confused by this here. Like, what qualifications are we talking about? What is it that you're needed? Why is... Oh well, no worries. No need to worry about something that you can't affect. I, I, I just, I forgot to brave uh, with a uh, ring about. But I, I just, I just was running through my mind what qualifications he could be talking about. Qualifications for what? I'm pharmacy. Like what? What could be the qualifications? Is it a level? Is it job level? Is it a uh, crystal thing? You know what I mean? Okay, let's see what pharmacy does here. Purchase recovery item and use it on one target. So it looks like in battle, I can call upon uh, an item shop. Okay. Oh. Looks like our things here are done. Well, almost done. We got a minute left on that one. Um, let me continue to explain. I'll come back to that. Where would a secret message It's gotta be along um, the outer wall, right? Because we see inside everywhere. I just knew there had to be a secret passage in this place. What am I doing? I am clicking on all the wrong buttons. All the wrong buttons. There we go. Level up for Tiz, he's getting stronger. Okay. So, most likely Copa is probably the bottom wall. Although there is room off to the right there. I like to be Thor if I can. Besides, it gives my characters up. Wow. You're not helping my thief at all there, Tiz. I still wonder why he goes, I mean, yeah, he's a level higher than her, but. What are their stats? Does it not show stats? Hold on. If I click on these. Um. I assume it's dexterity or agility? It's gotta be agility. So she has one point higher than him. And it's probably a random roll when you start the combat about initiative. 
Uh, so you probably get like a 1d4 added or subtracted to your roll. And that's probably what's going on. Don't see anything. I don't see anything here. Now maybe the uh, the way I combed the walls. So maybe I have to go back the other way. Or maybe I'm not hitting it straight enough. Hmm. It did with the level up. And we got a wake up bell. I'm gonna try this one more time. The, the secret passage, it could be here. No, I can't. I can't go that way. So it's gotta be either the right side or the south side. Or there's another way to go up or downstairs. Ah, there it is. I, I had to hit it. Oh, I don't think I was hitting it from that way. I think I started a little higher than that. Haha, okay. I mean, there's only so many places you can hide a secret passage. That's the thing. They, they have to be hidden walls, but to be a hidden wall, they have to be on an edge that you can't see. Oh, this ain't good. Yeah, I call that one. Oh, white wing. Oh, wow. Honestly, I don't think Anya's is needed for this. Either uh, Adia's gonna take it out or Tiz's. Or Adia's not gonna take it out. Hmm. Very strong enemy there. Are we allowed to shield strike? Okay, well, maybe that'll do more damage than, uh, than our full attack. Shield strike. Deal the same damage to conventional attack over two turns, raise your physical defense. All right, well, that's not what I really expected, but okay. Ah, here we go. Peace ring. Uh, prevents berserk. Nope, confuse. Y'all know how much I hate confuse. Absolutely detest confusion. Uh, probably blind is good. Give it to you. Even though blind is annoying. I, I hate Confuse. I have raged against Confuse so many times in so many games. Confuse is by far the worst ailment in any video game. Especially when your characters throw away really, really expensive items. Like in Final Fantasy VIII, which really, really ticked me off. Oh, here's a Mega Elixir. We're just gonna throw this. Oh, here's a Mega Phoenix. We'll just, I mean, they don't even use like the items we have the most of, like potions and things. It's these really expensive items. And it's just so frustrating to have all that stuff just chucked away. Okay, now we need to go around this way. And we need to go back to where we were. Making use of this uh, thieving dagger. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, uh, this this is so bad. It's not so bad. All right, let's go down the steps. 
and we will we have one chest oh just awful it's in complete chaos yet swallowed up in silence and in that stillness grief this place is steeped in sadness the women here made themselves a human shield that i might get away and now all of them gone it's Narende all over again yet i haven't the leisure to send them on or to mourn them i'm not allowed even the luxury of grief they sacrificed themselves that i might protect the crystal I'll not betray them. I swear it. No matter what happens. Surely you can allow yourself to grieve. I pray for them. That they may know peace. But for now, I must press onward. The crystal altar is just beyond. Follow me. Okay. Still looking for a what the heck is that? Oh, that's a door that one open. Okay, well that's that makes it easier to go back and forth now. Take these guys out pretty quickly. Push is stolen, Fulman shards. Missed up an attack, but that's fine. Good job, team. I need us with another level. Okay. So that's the way we came from. I know there's a chest here. Here it is. Mythical dagger. I don't think it's better than Thief's knife. It's actually stronger than Thief's knife. Uh, what if I... What if I put the mythical dagger here? The thief's knife here. I should still be able to use the thief's knife, right? Yeah, I can still use the thief's knife. But the stronger weapon is in the main hand. I don't know if that affects her damage at all. I mean, her damage just seem to be a little bit higher, but it's minor if so. I mean, it wasn't a huge upgrade. Bring about gain a level. And by huge upgrade, I mean, it wasn't a huge upgrade over the Thief's Knife. Huge upgrade over the other one, uh, the, the Mythical Master. Hey, guy. It only gets worse. All right, well, let's save. Oh, I completely forgot about town, didn't I? I said I was gonna go there after like another minute. I completely forgot. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, level five. Level five shop that takes a lot. Um. And you'll just be running in the background. Cool. Uh, I need to heal. Normally when you have a save point, you always have... Problems to follow. There it is. Or there it was. Stories I'd never expected. It's not shining now, and that's what I meant by that was. 
doesn't have the same glow. Everything is just black and white here. No. Its light is dimmer still than when I left. Mm -hmm. I've watched over the crystal all my life, but this... I've never seen this. We need to release it from the darkness. Agnes, you know what to do, don't you? The Mother Vesto, my predecessor, showed me as a child. A right to cleanse the crystal of any evil to befall it. I'm to sharpen my focus to a single point and align my breathing to the thrum of the crystal's natural rhythm. Every Vestal to come before me has poured her prayers into the crystal. The time has come to draw upon that store of will and awaken it. You do your office proud. Now for the final step. The Vestal Garb. Right. Without that to serve as a conduit, you won't be able to set the crystal to resonating. The Mother Vestals was stored in the reliquary. Lead the way. Once we have that, we can begin the rite of awakening. Let's get this back up. We need the Vestal Guard for the rite of awakening. It's in the reliquary. So boss battle here? That's the garb you need? Yes, this is it. But the dark has beaten us here. Oh, look at it. It's in tatters. And it must have been such a beautiful piece. It may not serve its function in this state, yet no other set remains to us. What now, then? We can't perform the rite without it! Why not give it a try as is? Even without its sacred power, the frock is deliciously holy. Stop talking, Ring-a-Bell. Hmm... If this garb is destroyed, can we make a new one? A set of holy vestments used in some miraculous ritual? Sure it is. Let me ask my tailor. No, he's right. That's it. We must speak with the old sage of the Yuldyana Woods. He has seen to the creation of the Vestal's garbs and other ceremonial tools for generations. There's no finer craftsman. I met him only once, as a small child together with the Mother Vestal. More than a decade has passed. I cannot say whether he is still there or even alive, but... But if he can make us a new set of vestments, why are we still standing around talking? I've never heard of these woods. Where are they? How will we get there? I recall the forest being uncommonly dense. Also, there was a lake. If it's large enough to float a ship, I'll land us there. Now, what are the ladies of Yuliana? Are there many ladies? Ignore him. <laughs> Can we be certain this lake hasn't rotted through like the oceans? That's not how I fancy ending my life. Well... What does Ringabel's journal have to say on the matter? Let's have a look. Ah, here we are. Yuliana, yes. The hidden heart of an ancient wood, northeast of Anshai. Okay. Given the book's owner, I half expected some note about the lack of women there. <laughs> women or no, that's our next destination. Indeed, but since we're going, let's hope for ladies. <laughs> I had them all. <laughs> oh, like, come on, dude. Get over yourself. Okay, so. I guess there's no. I guess there's no boss in this area. Well, at least no boss yet. Maybe when we return a second time. There's no reason that merchant would be there if there wasn't something big there going down. Although with the uh, shortcut here, it makes it very easy to go back and forth. Although I am, I'm still a bit surprised that there's nothing 
here. Learn to speed up 20%? Okay, so now it's even higher. That sounds great. Oh, it costs two. Oh, we don't have two points yet. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I see the new orange exclamation mark. Looks like we're gonna have to get on the Escalot. I, I do wanna try. I do want to try to, um, to fight the uh, other nemesis with the gluttony thing. Uh, I did mess up on the strategy that I was talking to Enter Zero about, and uh, instead of healing it, you're supposed to be hitting it during glut. So let's try. It. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to hit it once. Uh, I'll hit with Anya. She, she doesn't seem to hit very hard, and she has the most defense. And now we just wait for Gluttony. Okay, I want you to brave twice. Cure idea. Cure ring a bell. And then the rest of you guys just default. Alright, now he's gluttony. So now we like go all out. Actually, I probably need her to heal. Let's just have her do that and wait. Everyone else goes all out. I don't think I can steal anything from this. Alright, let's see if it works. It's healing. Time to settle this. So that's what I'm saying. It's healing. Oh. Oh. Okay. That worked. So you just had to do, I guess, enough damage. And then he explodes. So he's gained a level. And we got a dexterity button. Alright, so the other nemesis is dead. And uh, so long and thanks for the fish. Um, I don't even need it. rest either. Not really. Yeah, we can keep continuing on. Uh, we got Lux and Rapid Fire. I believe Lux is Latin for light. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, how much time do we have left uh, today? We have not much. So let's make sure this gets done today. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. 
And then you over here, you only have six. Hmm. All right, well, you know, normally with my intro and everything, these will be done uh, in the next episode. Uh, we got this, so we're good. Uh, let's head on over there, though, before we adjourn for the day. You know, we ain't got a chance to use a special. Tiz kind of just obliterated it. Beast liver, hard scale, and a potion. All right, I think I'm much more powerful than this area now, that's for sure. Okay. I do want to head back to the main town, though. I went the wrong way. That may cost me. That may cost me. And the reason I want to come back here is because I want to try to get that quest done. Although it may be morning now. I may have... Yeah. Is there a way to change the time? Oh, we learned Hedge Risk. Okay, that's new ability. Let's check that out. Um, ability... Hedge Risk. How the damage itself five for turns, but it's making money. Yeah, Man, he's so money hungry. I do like his skills, but... I wonder if you rest, will you, uh... Change time? We have 5,000 funds, by the way. It's quite a lot. I was hoping to head here at night time. But unfortunately, that did not happen. I guess what I could do is just run around until there is no night time. Just do that. Um, yeah, I don't care about levels right now. Okay, I'm gonna run around here till it's nighttime. I will be back in a few. And we are back. And we have a zombie here. So we can do the thing that we need to do. I think I completely messed that up. It's kind of annoying because it doesn't save the last thing you do when it comes to cure magic. I think I messed it up, but oh well. It only took one shot. I was worried for nothing. Okay, that means that we have now cleared this quest. And that never friend invite we're just never going to be able to clear. It's impossible with the mod. But that's fine. We do the best that we can with what we have. Alright, so flying over here. Way over here.
I'm looking for either a lake or that. Is that a port? There we go. Sweet. And we have a, uh, a new town here. Oh, this place is nice. This place is very nice. Ileana Wood Needleworks, hey. Yes, this, this feels familiar. It's been ages, but this is it. We were here. The mother Vestal, I, and Olivia. Was that strange distant groaning here then too? Or am I the only one who's thoroughly unsettled right now? You're not alone. The lack of women here is positively chilling. Though it seems someone lives here. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, hello. I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear, and me fewer still. So, to whom do I owe this pleasure? I am Anya Soblige, sir. Vestal of Wind. <laughs> Little Agnes, is it? Oh, you have grown, child. She has. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you. A fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. <laughs> Ugh, lovely. It's a geriatric ring -a bell Then you are indeed the sage I seek. I fear I do not remember your name, sir. <laughs> oh, we are a lot alike in that, my dear. Not many people around these parts to call me by it. Whatever it was. Sage will do just fine by me. It is what the last Vestal called me. At her heels, you. Sage, Sage, you'd call. Aww. A more charming little echo I've never heard. Aww. Well, I am glad to have found you. Feels rather good to hear a pretty young thing like you was looking for me. Seems I've not quite lost my charm. Now, you called yourself Vestal. I take it that means the last Vestal is... Yes, sir. Her tenure as Vestal ended five years ago. Her life, a year later. I see. A sad loss for all of us. She was fair but firm. Very firm. She had taught curves oh God. to drive a man mad. We shall be needing an in-depth Oh, no, 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 no. Shush, shush, shush. Also, a briefing on any wild women of the world. You stay out of this. Stop talking. Just... <laughs> you quite the following, my dear. I had thought the Vestals forswore all contact with the outside world. These are... they are assisting me in my task. Oh, assistance, eh? I see. <laughs> oh, and such colorful characters they are. I've kept you out here long enough. Come inside. I see. Well, that's quite the story. You've been brave to come this far, Agnes. I'd not have managed on my own. I owe Tis a great debt. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps it is we've come to the harrowing. The harrowing? Yeah, what's that? The swelling dark is a harbinger, lad, as is the fall of the temples, the dulling crystals, the great chasm. That doesn't sound good. 
It is the Vestal's calling to see that darkness purged. I must awaken the four crystals. Awaken them? Absolutely astonishing! Huh? What? I took the liberty of stealing a peek at the ladies' fashions you've assembled in the next room, good sir. Each is a beauty fit to outshine the next. Their allure had me spellbound. Spellbound, I tell you. <laughs> I'm impressed a man of your scant years can properly appreciate them. I would gladly talk the night away with a man of your genius. They're a matched pair. Ring a bell, please. We're in the middle of an important discussion. <laughs> As am I, my friend. This is art, romance. You'll come to understand in a few years. And as I recall, we didn't come here to talk. We came to procure Vestal garb as quickly as possible. While you were chatting, I searched. My efforts bore unexpected fruit, that's all. <laughs> so, you've come to me because of your need for new vestments, have you? I have. The garb housed in the temple was lost to the darkness. We found it in scrap, sir. Hmm. Those garbs are woven from rainbow thread. No substitute will suffice. And is this thread something you keep on hand? I fear not, my dear. Of course, you just do the that. The best or to wear the garb must procure the thread herself. <laughs> it is tradition. The last Vestal of Wynne did so, as did her predecessor, and countless Vestals before. Even had I the thread used to craft the last Vestal's garb, I could not fashion it into aught of use to you. I understand. Tell me where I must go. Of course, my child. But come, the day is nearly spent. Stay the night. Oh, yes. If you girls would like, I would be happily obliged to make space in my own bed for you. Oh, dear uh, lord. Unacceptable. Ah, uh, what is Likewise. with the... What is with the trope of the, the creepy of old man? The night in ardent conversation. I'm not a fan of that trope. It's really disgusting. Well, I trust. No, on bed, hopefully. Big deal, was it? How about making a nip of breakfast now for an old man, eh? What? Why should I cook for you? Because a young beauty's home cooked meal is far more appetizing than anything I might make myself, of course. Well, if you're not a good cook, her beauty has nothing to do with that. her upbringing, I've grave doubts the Vestal could boil water, let alone cook. That leaves you. Oh, he's got a point, Don't probably. Wait, Sage. Now the location of the rainbow thread, if you please. And yes, jealous are you? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. The location of the rainbow thread, if you please. Huh. You're no fun at all. Very well, then. I prepared a light meal while you were sleeping. Eat before you go. You'll find the rainbow thread very deep in a cave that is far west of here. I shall mark it upon your map. Looks like we have the next place to go. I'm, I'm this video is gonna be a little bit longer. I didn't expect all this uh, extra story here. So sweet sorrow. How about I end up a breakfast for an old man? Ha! Huh, he cooks just fine. Quite. It was nothing especially fancy or rather ordinary, but it went down fine. Oh, well, that was pretty good actually. Likewise. I wonder why you would have wanted him you to cook for him, my dear. All alone, not here in the woods. Maybe miss the taste of a big city. Aw, when you put it that way, I feel bad for saying no. 
Well, what sort of food do you like to cook, India? Hmm, I haven't cooked enough to have a specialty or anything, but if I had to cook something, I'd make a mean jam and butter omelette. Beg your pardon? Or whipped chestnut and sweet potato toast. Uh. Or have you ever tried marshmallow? Could that smoke pesato? Oh no, but it sounds sweet, painfully so. Yep, mother and father were less speechless, but it's amazing deliciousness. I'd be happy to whip up some for you next time. Right, next time. We all know that she loves sweets, right? Uh, cross the bridge and head west. You'll find a cavern in the rainbow throw with insteps. Alright, I love just finding random stuff. It's so whether we find a peace ring. Didn't we find a peace ring, like, tucked away in a special area? In, like, one of the dungeons? We have the option to sit for free. We don't need to, right? No, we don't. Oh, look at the little fox. Need something? Wait, is... Okay? Not what I expected from a fox, but okay. We traded magic here. Fantastic. Uh... Tiny level three magic. And I think uh, Ring of Bell could cast this too. Question is, how much money do I spend on magic? I think I just buy one. So let's get fire because I like fire. Um, and I got thunder last time, so it's something new. Uh, Cura will get. Uh, It's just all so good. Armory. Ooh. Is that finally an... No, it's not a damage increase for Anya's. Oh yeah, it is. Oh wow, it's a big damage increase. Mythal is where it's at. Um, what else? Mythal bow is a huge increase. Mythal knuckles is not, surprisingly. Uh, but the bow is a huge increase. Got some Mythos shields, which are good. And Mythos armor. Look at all of those stats. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get some more money. Although I spent like all my money on spells. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. You don't do that. Let's ring a bells. There you go. Alright, she's finally gonna be hitting for more than hard damage now, which is nice. It's not good. Little dagger. And deep side. Okay, yeah, I need to get better armor for all my characters, so I'm gonna need, what, 4,000, uh, the money stuff. Wow, that axe is so expensive. Look at the katana. 62,000. Shield is ridiculous. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not... I mean, I know I could have spent my money better if I bought, like, this stuff here instead of that stuff that I just bought. But I feel like buying stuff from this guy is a little bit of a cheat in some ways. So I don't want to fully break the game with that. That makes sense. Okay, um, where do we go next? Go here. I get 30, I guess. Takes forever. And then... All 
Alright my friends, well my name is Flutter this is your Story Based Gaming channel. And this is your Continue Blind Let's Play, probably the default, for the PC. Uh, you'll be using SPS at BP. Okay, so that requires you to use that ability. Um, if you can't wait that long. And Wheel of Web two-handed, which I did, but I guess I didn't get credit for it. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll take care of all this later. Uh, for now, I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day. And until next time, my dear friends, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.